It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, the 28th day of April. I'm James Spann. The weather heats up. We'll be close to 90 tomorrow afternoon. The next round of organized showers and storms at the end of the weekend, most likely Sunday night. Then we turn cooler early next week. Check things out early this morning. A big trough over the western states that will push the next round of storms in here Sunday night. Numbers all over the board this morning. Fort Payne, nice and cool at 52. Montgomery at 72. Birmingham at 67. We have for the mid-80s today, and again tomorrow, we'll be very close to 90. But up north, much cooler air, and we'll start to feel some of that early next week. We have a couple of nice cool shots coming up over the next 15 days. Flash flood watches north and west of the state from Oklahoma up to Illinois. Things are quiet here this morning. A risk of severe storms today and tonight from near Childress, Texas to Cincinnati, Ohio. An enhanced risk, in fact, in that zone. Then tomorrow, we have an enhanced risk for parts of northeastern Texas, southeast Oklahoma, west Arkansas, northwest Louisiana. But no uh, risk here. And then on day three, which is Sunday, a risk of severe weather from the central Gulf Coast up to near Chicago. In Alabama, we have the standard slight risk over about the western quarter of the state, a marginal risk elsewhere. And keep in mind, this outlook runs through 7 a.m. Monday, and it looks like a line of storms coming through here Sunday night. And we'll take a look at the specifics on this in just a moment. But some good rains here for the next seven days. Rain ballot through Friday of next week. Rain amounts in the two and three inch range. Some spots may be getting more. Uh, we'll have a good rain event Sunday night. Another rain event shaping up for Wednesday night and Thursday of next week. And bring that on. We'll take it. Model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run. Ballot today at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Big trough in the west for us. Mostly warm and dry today. The high should be in the mid-80s. We'll call it partly sunny. Check the uh, high-res HER model. Valid this evening. 6 o'clock. Nothing's showing up. There might be an isolated shower, but it sure looks like most places will be dry. Tomorrow, that big storm gets its act together west of the state, and we heat up. Both the NAM and the GFS are at 90. A mixture of clouds and sunshine. Could there be an isolated shower? Yes. This is Saturday at 6 o'clock. In fact, it's got a little cluster of showers and storms coming up through Birmingham. With a high around 90, there'll be great instability value. So we'll mention the chance of widely scattered storms Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. But again, the bulk of the day will likely be dry. Sunday, deep surface low near Kansas City. Storms west of the state. And then this is Sunday night just after midnight, 1 a.m. Monday. Uh, deep surface low. It's located over north Missouri with a band of showers and storms pushing in here. This is the NAM, the 12-kilometer NAM at 1 a.m. Monday. Just after midnight Sunday night, a solid band of storms coming through West Alabama. Then by 7 a.m., it's already starting to clear. So in the terms of the timing, it looks like this might be uh, 6 p.m. Sunday until 6 a.m. Monday. Uh, check the severe weather parameters. This is the instability at 1 a.m. Monday, and there's just not much, a little tongue of instability that's very limited. And that would certainly seem to be the limiting factor in this is the lack of instability. Uh, storm relative helicity, numbers are pretty high. But again, we hope that uh, lack of instability will somewhat mitigate this. And it looks like a squall line, so the main threat would be strong gusty winds and some hail. Uh, the tornado threat in a case like this would be fairly low. And a quick peek at a forecast sounding. It looks pretty saturated. Again, uh, the possible hazard type is marginal tornado. The surface cape is only uh, 257 joules per kilogram. And the lifted index is only a minus one. So at the moment, it doesn't look like an overwhelming threat in one of these maybe late night deals again. But we'll watch it carefully as we get closer. Monday, storms are on the way out. The sky clears and we turn noticeably cooler. Monday's high and back in the low 70s. Tuesday, we'll start the day in the upper 40s in many spots. Nice and cool. We'll warm up to near 80. We're dry. Now, Wednesday, we've got a new system to the west. We could see some rain by Wednesday night. This is uh, Wednesday night just after midnight, a broad surface low coming in here. And then Thursday of next week, the surface low is east of the state. And again, we'll see a lot of different looks in here. But clearly, there'll be a chance of rain and storms late Wednesday, Wednesday night, or Thursday. And we'll look at the timing and specifics on this later but if the, if this verifies more than likely severe weather would not be a problem with the surface low so far south 
And a week from today, Friday, May 5th, troughing on the East Coast, the weather nice and cool and dry with a very deep surface low over Pennsylvania near Philadelphia. And if this verifies, much of the eastern U.S. would see temperatures well below average. This is the end of the forecast period. This is Sunday, May 7th. We've got ridging here. That looks dry and pleasant, if this verifies. Here are the numbers coming off the European Ensemble. Very warm for the weekend. Then we drop back in the 70s on Monday and then even cooler toward the end of next week, Thursday and Friday with highs dropping back in the 60s. And we have seen some deterministic runs noticeably cooler than that. In fact, some of the runs are suggesting we could be down to 40 degrees by uh, Saturday morning, May 6th. And if we get down that low, that'll feel pretty good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.